In the last video, we put our first command button in the user form. In this video, we are going to put our first checkbox in the user form. So go into editor, double click your user form, and then select the checkbox, click, and drag. You can always readjust the size after you place it down and you can move it by clicking and dragging. So for now we have checkbox one and we're going to change the name from checkbox one, checkbox back color. So the caption for the checkbox will be background color. I'm going to make the font a little bigger, so clicking on font, there's a little ellipses, and change the size. We're going to make the size 28. So now I have to expand my button out so that you can read background color. Now what I want this checkbox to do is that when the user selects it, and the box is checked, I want the background of the user form to change colors. So right click and go to view code or double click. And you can see from our previous video, our close button. And right above that, the checkbox back color will appear. So what I want this to do is that if it is selected, the user form background will change to white. So let's put our if statement in. If, and then the name of our checkbox, which the caption was background color, but the name is checkbox back color. So if checkbox back color dot value, so if the value of that is true, which means if that box is checked, then we're going to change the user form one, which is the name of our user form, and we're going to change the back color. So back color equals, and we want it to be white. So RGB 255 255, 255. Else, meaning that the checkbox back color dot value is false, which means that the box is not checked, I want the user form to be the default color, which is user form one back color. And to figure out what the default color is, you can go into the properties of your user form. Properties, window, instead of checkbox, select user form. And you can see that the back color is a hexadecimal value, amber stamp H8000010. So I'm going to copy that and paste it in. You only need the one amper stamp in front. And then I'm going to end my if statement. Running this, when we click the button to open up the form and we select background color, it changes to white. Unclick and it changes back to the original gray color. So this video explained putting a checkbox into a user form and how to manipulate the code for whether the checkbox is checked or unchecked. So whether the value is true or false.